Virginia. <laughs> Getting the car wash because there's so much ice and salt. This has made my car look like a snowman. We don't have any snow, but we got all the salt. Anyway, today is Wednesday and it's a boring day. All right, I'm gonna do my best, try to show you something interesting. The last two days, that's worked out with um, Air Force One and Biden going for ice cream today. Hey, the noodles, the noodles I'm gonna have for lunch, that just might be the highlight. So up here is the Supreme Court where Justice Breyer has just announced he is going to step down in June at the end of the term. And got a few media people have shown up, but not like a big crowd or anything. But that's gonna be some interesting politics in the next few months when they have the hearings to replace him. CBS News, I think. A few other TV crews here. Hey guys, it's cold. It's freezing, 32 Fahrenheit, zero Celsius, give or take. But the winds, it's pretty windy out today, and you can see the flags over there on the buildings are blowing around a bit, and that makes it a lot cooler. Uh, no idea what we're going to show you today. Now, the last couple days, I've started saying it's going to be a boring day, and it ended up seeing Air Force One. We ended up seeing Biden going to get ice cream. I don't think today is going to be like that. I think today is really going to be boring. Delta Skelta. Yeah. Ooh, hot dog man is down there. But that means I have to walk in the cold. <laughs> I don't really... Maybe I could drive down there. <laughs> that would be pretty pathetic. Drive to get a hot dog two blocks. You know what, today actually, today is kind of a noodle day, I think. I think today is going to be noodles. Hey, the Avengers are up. Can you see it? Just atop that red brick building, just right over there, is an Avenger missile battery, part of the close-in air defense network that protects the White House from attack. A bit of construction down here on the ground below. We'll go see that in a minute, but up above the Renwick Gallery, up above the new executive office building there is the Avenger missile battery. That little green thing with the two antennas, that's the missile launcher. Should any aircraft violate the restricted airspace. Not that plane that's way up there, that's that's way outside the restricted airspace. But if anyone comes down here, kaboom. Look at that sky, it's just so blue today. It's just blue. But down here at ground level, it's all cloudy and smoky. Looks like there's some major work being done on the steam tunnels today. These steam tunnels that vent steam pretty much every day, 365, are really kicking it out today, probably because it's so cold. So DC, well, I'm sorry, the federal government has a centralized steam distribution network, like a lot of college campuses have. All oh, there's one big boiler that puts out hot steam and hot water, chilled water and hot steam, hot water, and dispatches that around the city loses a tremendous amount of money <laughs> they're talking about they've been talking for like 10 years about upgrading the system but you know it's government that it takes forever hey they got the they got a hole in the ground over here let's go over there and see what it looks like okay Alrighty. i know a lot of you are excited about the holes in the ground so let's go see what this one looks like <laughs> Oof, right in the crosswalk we got a new pipe Well, yeah, a couple of new pipes from a manhole cover. Oh, there's a guy down there. Not across the street, but I don't know how far I can go. There's just steam coming out everywhere over here. I guess I got a light. Look at all the steam that's coming out. Big old mess. Ah, we are. No. This is a lot of steam. I, I do historic work. <laughs> oh, okay. I just happen to be next to this project. Yeah, it'll keep you warm. <laughs> you guys have a good day. So, they couldn't really tell me what it was. I did hear him say it overheated, which didn't make sense because it's steam, but maybe steam overheats. Anyway, they're fixing it. 
and I'm fixing to walk over here. I think at this exact moment there's a meeting going on in the state dining room or the state room or something like that with the heads of business to talk about supply chain, something like that. I was listening to the Beatles on the way over here. So if you hear me humming Helter Skelter, you know what's up. <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? Have you met Bill back better? I've met the Bill before. I remember the song. <laughs> All, right, All right, good luck, Mr. Bill. I'm just a bill. Yeah, it says I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. <laughs> Here's your favorite wall. Still being a wall. They got some uh, lights over here set up. Oh, guys are playing their music. They'll mess up my YouTube algorithm. Ooh, it's so cold. I'm gonna have to re-record the audio here. Not even very well positioned, you know, just sort of thrown on. Plywood on top. Some of you are asking about like holes. Like all of those sniper positions. Guys, it's plywood. <laughs> there you go. God, it's cold. The wind just kicked up. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Let me see if I can get on the other camera. I want to show you this reflection. So we gave that guy a pair of gloves. Stay a bit warmer. We carry gloves in our backpack now. I got about one more. I got two pairs left, I think. But uh, that guy, he didn't have any gloves today and he could tell it was hurting his hands. <laughs> Lots of press out today, all talking about the resignation of Supreme Court Justice Beyer, which is, I think in June it takes effect. So they're all doing their speculation stories. So there's the gate. It's kind of open right now. There's no construction trucks up here today. There were construction trucks here the other day. All right, pretty quiet, pretty quiet. I'm hungry. That's great. Thank you. So we're going to swing up this road for a bit, the George Washington Parkway, which is kind of a racetrack. So just off the parkway is a scenic lookout. And right over there, you're looking at, well, that's Washington, D.C. Yeah, that's northwest Washington, D.C. If you look far enough down river, there is Virginia. You can kind of make out the Washington Monument. And I guess I have to move behind the tree. There it is. There's the Washington Monument. Way in the distance. Anyway, it's a pretty view up here. That's a boathouse over there where you can rent uh, canoes and kayaks and go out in the river when it's not frozen. <laughs> so also on this parkway is this little place. This is Fort Marcy, one of the old Civil War era forts that used to surround Washington, D.C. But it's kind of infamous in political circles. So Fort Marcy was part of the Civil War uh, defensive forts and batteries. I've taken you to some forts, uh, like Fort Reno. Uh, we went up there sledding with my kids last year. Fort Stevens is where President Lincoln was actually shot at. And many of these other places, Fort DuPont has a good ice skating rink. But all these old forts still connected around DC. The road that connected them all is known as Military Road. Now, Fort Marcy, you can't really see much. There's some earth that's been moved up and dug up the old batteries over there. Uh, not really a whole lot that you can see. There's no cannon or anything like that. 
This place is famous though, because this is the location where the body of Vince Foster, the counsel, White House counsel to President Clinton, was found in the middle of the uh, Whitewater investigation. And well, there's always been lots of speculation about his uh, suicide, which took place here. Let me go up here to the fort itself. Now, truth be told, I've never actually been out here. Uh, <laughs> this place had kind of a bad reputation for a while. Kind of like the place where um, people would go to meet up for certain types of activities that take place at night. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think this is one of the old earth and battlements or something. Wow, it's cold. Fort Marcy and Fort Ethan Allen on Military Road. These were, uh, had 17 guns. So there was a bridge here called Chain Bridge. Fort Ethan Allen, Fort Marcy, and Battery Vermont protected the bridge between Virginia and DC. Anyway, that's about it. I don't really know where he was discovered. I understand, I think his car was found over here. Now, Fort Marcy is kind of here in the trees of Virginia, and it kind of has that, like, well, that kind of ambiance of, hey, this is where our two spies would meet to exchange secrets and whatnot. And that ambiance is enhanced by the fact that just up there and just to the right is the Central Intelligence Agency. So let's go drive by their offices, see what it looks like. So this is uh, Mar Virginia Route 123. And this is the main entrance to the Central Intelligence Agency, which is just off to the right behind these trees. And we can't go there. <laughs> so that's named after George Bush Sr., who was the head of the CIA in the 1970s. And if you turn right here at this little bus stop location, you see the big warning signs, stay off, stay out. You'll get stopped, basically, for turning here, so you can't really turn here. That's the entrance to the CIA headquarters. The CIA is back in the distance. It can be kind of difficult to get into CIA headquarters. However, it's not always that difficult to find out what's going on inside the CIA headquarters. Let me show you something. So just down the street from CIA headquarters is this little area known as McLean, Virginia. Very posh, very, very expensive. Former Vice President Cheney lives here, or lived here. Uh, Ethel Kennedy lived here. It's uh, a lot of blue blood money in this little town of McLean. It's also got something else. Got a little strip mall here, strip mall there. Let's turn into this one. So guys, this is the McLean Family Restaurant. This is the kind of place you go to get, you know, like a home-cooked meal. It's where soccer teams go after their big game. Grandma and Grandpa go here at about 3 o'clock to eat dinner. Um, it's just your average, ordinary family restaurant with one exception. This is also where a lot of CIA employees, both current and former, will go to meet up, find old friends, and occasionally chit-chat about work. Find a booth in McLean Family Restaurant, order some pancakes or a burger, and keep your ears open. You'll never know what you might hear at this restaurant. So we're gonna cross over into Georgetown, which is just over there on top of that hill. And to get there, we've got to take the Key Bridge, named after Francis Scott Key. So Key Bridge, uh, named after Francis Scott Key, was an honor to Francis Scott Key, but also was named because they basically destroyed his house to build this bridge. Francis Scott Key used to live in Georgetown, uh, right about where the red light is up ahead. Francis Scott Key's neighbor was a guy named Marbury. Marbury was a very big supporter of President Adams, and he got in a little spat with Adams' successor, Jefferson, and they had a little suit called Marbury versus Madison. And Marbury lived in this red brick building over here on the right. Now, you may have noticed the flag on the top, blue and yellow. That's a pretty relevant flag right now. You see, that 
is now the Ukrainian Embassy. The Ukrainian Embassy occupies Marbury House, the most famous U.S. court decision in American jurisprudence history. So that pink building right there, that's Marbury House. That's where Marbury lived, of Marbury versus Madison fame. And over there next to it is connected the Ukrainian embassy. You can see the Ukrainian flag flying there, and it also is flying here. In fact, at night, they light up the side of the building in blue and yellow lights. But other than that, that's uh, pretty quiet over there. You don't see anyone... Uh, bugging out, packing their stuff or anything at the Ukraine. Just up from Georgetown is the neighborhood of Glover Park. And in Glover Park is this giant building up here on Mount Alto, which is the Russian Embassy. We just saw the Ukrainian Embassy. Now we're at the Russian Embassy. Some of you asked, are the Russians moving out? Are there people like evacuating? And I've seen nothing like that. There's no buses, no U-Hauls, anything like that. So there's the Russian Embassy. I've shown you this many times as I live just up the street from this area in Glover Park. Not a lot happening at the Russian Embassy. There's not like buses or moving vans or anything like that. No real change in their status. Not like our embassy in Ukraine. But, uh, just looks kind of like it does every day.